Are you that fucking stupid? Yo, thanks, bro. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, no problem. Have a good one, guys. Are you that fucking brain dead, you fucking nub? Hey, you fucking moron. Who bought all of the fucking cars? Who spent all the money on the cars? Who fucking gave everybody cash? What? Oh, I'm so sorry. Well. They gave me a hundred fucking high quality parts. It was 800 high quality parts, you brain dead fuck. What, you want me to discount 60 grand? I'm already not making any money on it. Oh yeah, pizza. Maldini's, Maldini's, Maldini's. What'd you say? I gave you a coffee so I can speed up the process, you know? Fuck yeah. Let me do shit quicker. People are just stupid, chat. It's fine. I'm just gonna ignore it. Cops were going crazy on races yesterday. They've been going crazy for the last two days. Motherfuckers getting shot. Like, dude, bumping and pitting is now you get shot. Hey, Pred! Oh, hey, what's going on? It's good to see you, sir. How's everything going with life? Everything's going great. It's good to see you, man. It's good. I hope everything's I going well. I can't think of anything that's going better right now. How are you back? Uh, you know, what's up? Are you back to being sheriff? No. God damn it. Senate's fucking me, but I also heard that the Senate might actually be gods. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just keeping my fucking feet to the you ground. Wanna hear on something this one. crazy? Is that? What's that? Ever since you, you're not the sheriff anymore. I have been shot more. <laughs> like I never in a million years thought oh, hey, that Maggie. you not being sheriff would turn to me being closer to dying. But I have been yeah. shot. I, I bump somebody, Kyle. One, three, two, I get three, shot. Three. I fucking pit someone. I get shot. I run and jump into another car. I get shot. I don't jump at all, and I get shot. I put my hands up. I get shot. Get I shot. lay down. I get shot. Doesn't matter. I say I give up. I get shot. I saw a man get disabled due to the cop shooting. Never had a gun gotcha. after a race. Oh, I was just kidding about the not talking to me from the workers here. I was just fucking playing. You can talk to me all you want. You can take your pizza off me. It's in a box, sir. Ooh, all right. Damn, it's like. Oh, wait, I have permission to. All right, oh, I have yeah, permission to. Have permission. Okay, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, I'm, God, just, I'm just grabbing the pizza look. box out God, of your hands. Damn. It's Thank like you that so much. Sometimes. Service with a smile. Wow. Anyway, it's like Chick fil A Thank down you, here. God damn, it. this ain't no Popeyes. Yeah, I, I would you Popeyes oh, they'll throw the sandwich at you. Need else, just call an order in. I'm gonna tell oh, well, it's ten percent discount for CD and we are delivering to Mission Roll. Yo, I'm perfect. sick of repeating my fucking me self. Please don't be listening. Uh, uh, I need that 10%. Uh, bye, I'm, Maggie. I'm down bad right now. Anyways, how, I saw how, a how down bad? Well, That's a nice car to sell it. Um, I can't. You know me. I got a race. Anyways, I saw a man get shot down. <laughs> he got his car disabled. Right? He ran away. He ran away with his hands up. Got chased down. Kept getting shot. Laid down, and a cop walked over top of him and shot him in his face for pitting during the race. I blame Bass. I do too. Him and Toretti. Yep. That's Bass and Toretti's fault, I'm telling you. They're mass murderers. They're trying to... You know... When I marched on Town Hall, mm. it was a, it was just a friendly little protest, Hutch. Remember I was and there. Bass... Yeah, and then... Oh, yeah, you were there. They kicked and me out Bass, right after you. And then Bass had... They were all there with guns! Yeah. They were ready to shoot us! Yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised either, Bass or Bass. Jeez, I called you Bass. Bro. Don't ever call I me know, Bass. I know. I'm sorry. I'd shoot me right now, to be honest. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, man, it's some bullshit. It's some absolute cockeyed bullshit. Well, I know what we can do. Hmm. What we can do. We can kill have all the a cops. Meeting. Sorry. No, no. All right. Not killing all the cops. Yeah, of course not. Because then they'll all just start killing everybody. They'll multiply when that kind of stuff happens. Exactly. Like the dragon <laughs> in Harry do? Potter. The dragon in Harry... Wait, the dragon in... Watch. I was high when I was watching it. 
Which, wait, which Harry Potter movie has a dragon? The Percy Jackson one and the lightning thief? Okay, no, that's, per that's Percy Jackson, <laughs> Hutch. That's Man, not fuck the cops! Harry Potter. <laughs> don't Anyways. You, you know, it'd be a good time. To, don't you wish you just had a stick you could throw out when someone was riding on a bike and if they hit the stick, I, they fell off? I used it? to carry shoes and I'd throw them at the cops on the bikes as they passed by, but... The shoes they make all your off? ammo fall out of Yeah, yeah. If you hit them right, they no it knocks them off. A bug figured it out. You just deploy yeah, see, that's tent. what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get rid of spike strips and get us to get throwing bricks and Have stuff. you seen what Imagine... tents do yet, Pred? Uh, I've seen a tent, but... Uh, all right, Pred, listen. I've never okay? been camping before. All right, so if you're driving and you got a tent, if you go over any patch of grass, you can deploy that said tent. And that tent will deploy, and if anyone is behind you, they run into the tent, and then they fall over. I saw Bog do it in a chase against Bass, and it was the funniest thing ever. You should try it out. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, you do that today instead of spikes. I'm gonna pull in front of the vehicle and deploy the tent. It's, it's. I'm <laughs> telling you, it is the funniest fucking thing. You'll have to grab the tent. Don't leave your tent behind. But goddamn it, it is hysterical. Motherfuckers just, it's like a roadblock. It's completely solid. Motherfuckers just launch their shit. And it's better than spike strips because then you'll see them fly in the air after they hit it. <laughs> it's incredible. It's definitely a Kyle thing to do. But anyways, listen. Whenever you're back to the sheriff, I want to have a conversation with you. Because I'm going to be honest, Pred. You're the only person that will actually have a conversation. Bass, the LSPD, well, and Espinos. He's a bitch. But all them, all them LSPD, they're a bunch of fucking <laughs> pussies, man. They do some shit, they fuck up, you try and get them to come down to the cells to have a conversation, they won't even come and talk to you anymore. <laughs> I'm always down for a conversation. I know can you I are. Say, You're the best screamer in the city. Cop. I am a best screamer. I'm pretty sure if you're having sex, you yelling at him like a football coach. Get down I and do. suck my dick. Yep, that's exactly what I do. I, I'm a dom. Yep. Well, you got a pair of balls. That's the difference between you and 99% of the other LSPD and and or your own. I mean, just Espinosa. Everyone else that's is That's why I'm cool. the greatest cop ever. Agreed. Agreed. Anyways, I'm going to go and chop and hopefully make money because now I'm fucking broke. I used to be the richest and then my own family took all my money. So now I got to go make <laughs> money again. Well, family does tend to do that. That's why I don't give family a fucking dime. Yeah, you know, they say you never work with your family, so I hired all you my know, boys. You know, that's a fact. Yeah, yeah, you never work with me. Yeah, they said you never work with family. I did the opposite. That's what I just heard you say. That's exactly what I just said. Yep. I should have listened to the and grapevine. Now, and, and now you're ruined. Now I'm done. And now I have to pay, him to pay for his pizza. Yep. Did you buy my pizza? Thank you. Yep. Oh, well, see, that's nice. I mean, see, you help each other. I mean, you might be financially broke, but at least for the five, for the th ten seconds that you're eating that pizza, mm -hmm. you'll have some joy. Are you a millionaire still? No, I uh, I have a quarter of a million dollars, and you I'm slowly depleting. want to invest in my depleting. business? I have a business. What's the, listen, no, I already did this scam to Jaeger. No, Pratt, no come with me. Come on, back. lock your car. It's already locked. All right, get in. Shotgun. Not a lot of people know this, Pratt. I'm actually rich. You well, said, well, you just said you used poor. to be rich. I used to be rich. I bought something for five million dollars. What'd you buy for five million dollars? Well, I'm about to show you. Listen, Pratt. This is what I'm gonna tell you, okay? You've never had a problem. Every time I'm in a gang fight, I tell you. Even if I was doing meth on the side of the street. I tell you I was doing meth on the side of the street. But one thing with you is, is I know you ain't a big paperwork guy. Yeah, you'll raid me. Uh -uh. Yeah, you'll fuck me over, you know. But here, yep. Pratt, I'm going to show you something no one, no other cop knows, okay? Okay, so, I mean, as long as it's not illegal, it's, you don't have anything to worry about. No, it's not illegal. It's just private property. Oh. Oh, <sighs> God, if you're going to kill me, just make it quick. I don't no, want to suffer. No, I'm not going to kill you, Pratt. You're the only good one. Oh, shit! What is this? This is my home. These are all my cars.
But you're not, you're, you're not, you're not poor, Hutch. This is my warehouse, or I guess it's more of an underground uh, car park. I own this. I charge people to park here. Some people always come down here. They hang out. This is where we all kind of chill. Is there gonna be drift? Ra is there gonna be drift? Yeah, this is here? this is where the the first legal drift spot's gonna be. People are gonna be able to come down here and drift and hang out and chill, and it's gonna be cool. But none of the cops like know what it is yet, and people always see us coming in and out of here, and I don't want people to make assumptions and think some crazy shit. But at the end of the day, it's just a car park, and I've been waiting to tell the cop about it and show him and, and let them witness like what it is. Um, but yeah, just, uh, you know, I haven't really talked to anybody. So now if a call ever comes in and they're like, hey, people are driving in and out of a gate, you can say, oh, that's a fucking, that's, that's a parking garage. Oh, that actually seems like a solid fucking thing. I didn't, I had no idea. Yeah. I literally had no we'll idea. We'll have, uh, drifting isn't in the city yet, but whenever the drift parts come, People will be able to go down there. They'll be able to drift. I'll have you down there once we get some uh, drift parts in, and I'll let you drive around. They'll be drifting there. I want I, I want a cop car that can drift, and then I can get into drift races. I it's can do that. Gonna be possible. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Car. So the way it's going to work is, is that you're actually going to be able to put drift parts in any car. So you can put drift parts in your cop car. Uh, we'll install them down there, and then you can drift around, and you'll be able to make I'm gonna be having that a way too. Scepter. Yeah, and then listen, this is what we're going to do. We'll get you a drifter scepter. You'll come down there, you'll drift. You'll be the best drifter. You'll get G&E. I'll buy your G&E off you. Business model. Everybody wins. Everybody fucking wins. Why is food so fucking expensive in the city now? Well, I feel like everything... The cool thing is it lasts forever. I hated going to get a sandwich every 30 minutes. Oh, yeah, I feel you on that. I just don't understand it. Now listen, you want to know the I cheat to, code? You go to Dean's World and go with those me, poor motherfuckers. It's only $400 oh, yeah. and you can get, like, I've had this box of fish and chips I spent $250 on for, like, four days. <laughs> no, that's a, must be using a lot of preservatives. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that they just put, like, Kim. I'm pretty sure it's not even fish and chips. It's just, like, you know how McDonald's makes their nuggets out of paste? It's pretty much the same thing, but more Yeah, chemicals. you know that each McDonald's nugget is, like... 40 calories or something like that or 80 calories like per nugget because it's literally just paste and breading yeah. Space food you could take 10 you could take a 20 piece chicken nugget up to space and go to, to Mars moon. and they'd still be chilling I don't know why they don't do that NASA's a bunch of fucking idiots. They should get sponsored by Mickey D's Take OJ <laughs> and a fucking McGriddle up there. That's just you gonna imagine last forever. if the astronaut team was just up there eating Big Macs and double quarter pounders and nuggets with shakes. See, that's it's like they just had a shake, me. a shake, a shake machine on the fucking space station. That, that's why I can never work at NASA. They see me sm smuggling a double cheeseburger up in that bitch uh, at least three times. Instead, they're eating like fucking MREs and drinking their own piss. I don't understand why. Why I don't understand the min maxing. I don't either. They're trying to stay in like, shape, too. They're like, oh, if, uh, you get back to Earth and you're going to weigh five pounds turns into 50 pounds type shit. Man, fuck that. I'd be going up into space, coming back down, going on 600-pound life. <laughs> Is every astronaut just fat as shit? <laughs> <laughs> What's that movie, Wally? -E? That's some Wally -E yeah, shit yeah, right Wall -E there. Yeah, Wally, where they're all, yeah, where they're just all scooting around. Yeah, it is some Wally -E shit. Well, I mean, hey, it's, bro, that's that's just, that's just, that is great publicity. Astronaut, 600 pound life. I mean, that's at least a million dollars in the pocket. At least. Fuck Elon Musk. I, mean, I don't know how I would feel about if I was, like, super fat being paraded around as a, as a fucking, you know, I feel like 600 pound life, uh, life is the human equivalency of Shamu in a tank. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just seems inhumane to me. I don't know. I just, uh, you know, I'm, I, I like, I, I watched that show a good bit. That and uh, 90 Day Fiance and both of them, they don't make much sense to me. I, I wouldn't really want to be on either show. I have show. a fascination for reality TV I right do now. too. I won't lie to you. I love the dating ones because they're just so cringe. It's like, yeah. this is scripted, right? I was watching some uh, some dating show and it was a bunch of uh, it was like a bunch of Brazilians. And it was just like, huh, this is, there's no way people, people, wait, people actually talk like this? 
Yeah. Have you ever seen Love Island? Some of the crazy. Uh, you know, you, you know, crazy seen. thing about Love I Island. I went to high school with a girl who was on Love Island, and she was one of the, her and another dude were the only two people who got kicked off of the island and didn't make any money. Like it was to the point where they were like, "You're only here to get seen by the TV. You are gone." Like they weren't doing anything. They weren't competing. They were like not like they they had one. They put a mirror on the ground and had all the girls stand over top of it. And they're like, get comfortable with your pussy. And she was like, everyone was like, oh, I feel so much more confident, this, that, and the other. And then the girl who went to my high school was like, she says some shit. She's like, uh, she ended up drawing her own pussy or something like that. And they're like, what the fuck is this shit? I don't know. <laughs> She's an idiot. She always is stupid. <laughs> I love reality TV. You realize just how low IQ the average human being is. You know what I mean when you watch reality TV? It's like, Amen. When, I watch, when I watch reality TV, I'm like, wow, this is kind of shocking, but this is exactly how it was back in the day when I used to go out to the bars and go to parties. It really People fucking was. People were always was. fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to my girl and she was like, uh, yeah, some of my friends, uh, they were going out and, you know, uh, she was inviting the other girl, but that girl was mad that the other girl just wanted to get laid, but that girl didn't want to go with her to go get laid with the other guy because she wanted to get laid by some random guy, so they didn't drive the 30 minutes to go meet up and get for sure laid, so then she drove by herself, and then she got fucked, and then the other girl got sad, and then she went home, and then now they're both texting me. I said, why don't they just both fuck the same guy? Easy solution. That guy yeah, wins, yeah, they like win. Yeah, yeah, it's like two birds, one fucking stone, yeah. That's what I'm Everybody saying. Everybody wins. Threesomes need to be more not frowned upon. You know what I mean? People need to smile. And we win. We do win. Well, you know, we... You know, you know what, Hutch? If you run for mayor on the campaign that threesomes need to be more of a thing, I'll vote <laughs> for you. Yeah, I mean, that, that'd be great, to be honest. Yeah, I just I've always wanted to get mayor. my dick sucked by two girls at the same time, so... What happened to Abdul? Did he get MP's yesterday? I don't know. I wasn't awake. Fuck. Why don't you run for mayor? That'd be the Hell ultimate no. power move from you, Pred. What if you Listen, could be a mayor but also be the sheriff? I think that, you know, I was thinking about this. You know, I think that if I ran for mayor, I could become single-handedly the most power. I I think I could become king. Hear I really this. do think. Hear me out. Hear me out. I already got a game plan. All right. This is what you in, do. Fill me in. You go. Nice map. You run for mayor. Okay. You win. Because everyone's going to vote for you. You already got the cops. You already got the criminals. Everyone hates Bass. There's no way you don't win. Right? You're the most corrupt but non-corrupt motherfucker I've ever met. So then yep. you win. You funnel all of the money that Abdul made me. or the city made. Because you already know the city's more rich now because of fucking uh, car taxes or whatever the fuck is. Asset fees. Than it's Asset ever been fees. before. Right? There has to be at least 20 million in that motherfucker. You funnel all of that to the BCSO. You flush out the LSPD. You only give them like 20% of what you give to BCSO. You get them everything that y'all could ever want in your department. And then you just fucking quit. People forget you can quit being the mayor whenever you want. So if you make all the money or you take all the money, you legally funnel it into your own department because it's a fucking state department. That's legal. You just say that that department's lacking the funds that the, the LSPD got from Abdul, which is true, because that's what y'all were saying in the courthouse. You get everything that you ever want, and then you just quit and be the fucking sheriff, and then you have millions of dollars in your account, and then you can just yeah, chill. Yeah, you know what? That actually would... I So basically, uh, day one, I would pay myself my salary, and yep. then day two, I'd pay myself a severance package. See you later. And then, and then you fucking... Boom. Day one, your own salary... Funnel money into the fucking BCSO. Fuck the LSPD. Day two, severance package, another fucking million. Plus more money you could put into the BCSO. You go to fucking the casino. You you gamble. I'll give you a bar soap. You make a couple more million. And then you're chilling. I take 20% because, you know, the homie fee. I'm just talking to the sheriff. No, I, like where you're, I like where your head's at, Hutch. Fred, I honestly think you could do it. Like, See, that's some the, people say he's an idiot. That's the craziest <laughs> thing here is that, like, you could actually do this, and there's nothing illegal about it other than the fact that it's your plan. 
But even if it is yeah, your plan, that's like half. Yeah, it's like Promise half the politicians. Promise everybody everything they want, and then just win, and then just fuck off with a couple million. I mean, um, what's pretty what's, much what Abdul did. Yeah, that's exactly what Abdul did. He just did it longer because he's an idiot. He is a fucking idiot. Did you hear what Abdul did to get him fucked up? I heard a bunch of stuff about it, but I didn't talk about it. I stayed out of the case. I talked to Abdul, and this motherfucker said he bought a VIP room and some shit at the hotel for like 1.5 million. And I sat there and I said, why wouldn't you just invest in companies in the city with the state to fund, promising shit, and then have that the same companies just give you the money back after you left? And he said, well, I didn't think about it. Huh. Huh. That's what you need to do. Idea. Take, get an office. It's not Sorry, embezzling. It's just investing in business. Exactly. Get an office. Put a million dollars into Maldini's for a parking lot because they need one. Put five hundred thousand dollars into some other businesses. Into my business for a drift school. Get out of office. I give you the money back. Boom, bang, ba. That's a big ass gun. What? I mean, hey, what's up? Jesus Christ. Your glasses make <laughs> you look like an 80-year-old woman who just learned that she could wear bivocals. Like Thomas Edison. What are you talking bitch. about? <clears throat> oh, never mind. Damn. Hey, what's going on? My yeah, name's Hutch. What? Hey, that is hey, a big Hey, hi, Hutch. My name's B. Nice to meet you. I killed a man. My fake daughter. Legally. Yep. Self He's my fake dad. Oh, wait, really? My time traveling dad. Yep. My daddy. Oh, shit. Yeah, her daddy. Yeah. It sounds like Daddy. a budget porn script. Is that French for what? dad? No, that's English for daddy. Oh, okay. Daddy. Daddy. Anyways, Pratt, you know, because in Thai right? you'd say "could Paul," but you know, in English you go "daddy," so it's. You know what I will know. think about it. I think well, it, I, I think it's foolproof. I mean, and as mayor, breakfast. you could fire Pratt or not Pratt. Sorry, Bass. Wait, what? <laughs> you could fire, fire Bass. He kills cats. Yeah, I mean, we all know that motherfucker tried to murder somebody, and he's still, he's still somehow a fucking cop. That shit. I mean, you could still pull that card. I've never murdered anyone. Hell no. Well, legally, you've murdered, <laughs> murdered a couple of people, motherfuckers. Actually. Exactly. Legally. Only verbally. Yeah, verbally, too. No, no. No, I physically mur <laughs> murdered a couple people. Murbled? You know, I've seen a, you know, I've Wait, seen a couple. Wait, you murbled someone, Dad? I've seen a couple oh my judges God. murder murbled. people. <laughs> murbled. Hey, I know a judge. Hey, Pred, you want, I know a judge who took a hatchet and hatched somebody over the head, then dumped them off the fucking, off the fucking, uh, what's it called? Right over there by Mirror Park, the dam. What the Hit hell? that motherfucker in the head with it. a hatchet and then threw him into the water. I was there. I, I brought the motherfucker to the guy. I allegedly First thing killed I'm going to do when I, become, when I become mayor is I'm going to change the name of the Andy Jones Farmer's Market to the Kyle Fred Farmer's Market. That would be actually fucking amazing. And then put Dean's world as, as Pred's world. Hmm. That'd be that'd be. What incredible. are you gonna name the crosswalk? Pred's Although walk. There won't be a crosswalk. It's Pred's gonna be walk. jaywalking. <laughs> Could you call it jaywalking? If you try and cross the street from sidewalk to sidewalk, it's two hundred and fifty dollar fine, which is put into the fucking uh, state fund, which is then now Pred's. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Foolproof. Sounds like a solid idea. Yeah. And then you could, you know how highways, there's like that, the, the fucking, what's it called, where you have to pay money every single time you go past checkpoking? You need the to put toll? like oh, yeah, 120 tolls. of those. 120 toll what boots the all the way from I would from turn Los Santos Freeway into the Autobahn. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> turn it into Pred's boots. So every single time they go by, it's $50 just taken out of the account. Going from fucking the city to the <coughs> farmer's market's $250 worth of tolls. You make so much money doing that shit off a of grinder. Yeah, no poor people allowed. I need to be your financial advisor, Prev, if you get into the meritorial office. We're making million dollar ideas here. I am I am not running for mayor. Do it, Pred! You bitch! Wait, are you actually trying to run for mayor? No, I'm trying to talk him into running for mayor. Dad, run for mayor. I'll vote for you. Twice. You literally, Pred, it would be uh, a week at most out of your time. You would have to do no marketing. You would just walk in, say, I'm running for mayor, and you'd get elected. You for sure make more money than being I wonder who's going to be running for mayor this I wonder who our next mayor will be. Probably some motherfucker none of us ever heard of. 
and then up and or well. Denzel. If Denzel runs for mayor, I'll fucking run for mayor. I don't think I'll do it allowed. Twice. Um, can Denzel run again after being a murderer? Never got proven, so yeah, he could. But oh. he does have a violent felony on his record now. Oh Let me shit! Get that fucking taken off. Could I get? Could I get my shit impeached or, or not impeached, but fucking cleaned or not? Expunged. I got like I'm seventy sure. counts of attempted is... murder on a government employee. I think. Ah, oh, fuck it, do it. But, there, we, but we both know there's no way you go two weeks without committing a felony. Nah, there's no fucking way in hell. It'd be literally impossible. There's, you can only I, go two well, weeks without committing a felony if you just didn't get caught. I'd have to sit yeah, in my exactly. fucking apartment and just do variety for two weeks. There's no way I could be in yeah, this city. Yeah, just rob a house and don't get caught. <laughs> exactly. Chop some bu buildings. Or Most of the time he barely makes it past his fucking... What do you call it? When you go to j parole. Barely yeah. makes it past his parole. Yeah, I mean, I think... I. Fuck, bro. I'm probably still on parole. I'll Jesus check. Christ. Do I got a warrant? I shot some motherfuckers yesterday, but I don't know if they got my casings. Uh, allegedly. No, I, I did it. I did no it. warrant. You're all good. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, can, you see if, can, can, you, can you do me a favor and see if my gun's hot? I, let me know. No, you think, you think I know how to do that? Yeah, that's true. That's true. That sounds good. It probably is. Have you seen the new? Have you seen the new gun spread? Yeah, I have. Yeah, look at this Wait, thing. What? This new thing's guns. sweet. Oh my god! What is that? Get away from! All right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. All right, Pred. What is that? Hey, it was fantastic seeing you. It's a Glock. It shoots automatic. Oh shit! Pred, you need anything? You call me. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, Hi, Dad. All right, we got pizza. Yeah, we got pizza. All have right, a good sweet. day, you guys. Hey, you too. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. I didn't even know her name. I don't either. She a bad some bitch old guy. Yeah. See, a lot of people think what I just did was stupid, but to be honest, now that they know it's just a parking garage and that's private property, worst comes to worst, I have plausible deniability. I mean, he doesn't know anything about it. He doesn't know there's a garage or anything, so. Hell no. That's the beautiful part. 